And finally, Lord Robert and the Kingdom of Dreams. Mm. Huh? Oh. Oh. Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember a thing. Oh. It's the girl from your porn, Rob. <laughs> you know what you must do. Jinx! Is that... No, it can't be! <gasps> it is! It's her! Fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest, and large as life! I have neither the first clue what's going on around these parts, but I reckon I could do worse than ask a lassie here. Well, Rab, what are you waiting for? Shall no hang around forever while you pluck up what little courage you have left? yoo -hoo. Eh, Have you a moment to spare for a sweet, harmless old man, Hen? <sighs> awesome. So, the last character before we get back to ourselves is none other than Rob himself. Um... And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play uh, Dragon Quest XI. In, uh, in the previous episode, we figured out what Eric was up to. He got captured, broke out of the jail, got attacked by a swarm of monsters. Then basically sacrificed his memories just for a bit of stopping power. To ensure that he lives to fight another day by none other than a seer, so... Get back here, you cunt. Get, get back! All right, cool. Uh, mm, hey, what just happened? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <sighs> this can he be? But but it is. It's Dundrasil. Just as it once was. <laughs> Looking sharp, your majesty. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> oh, my... My old robes. But... But how... What in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> Walk this way. <laughs> well, it looks like we're back in Dundrasil. Well, before it got destroyed. My bunny old pal headed off in the direction of the throne room. So this is the real Dundrasil castle, that is. Well, that's good as place to need the head for, I suppose. I'll see what the folks on the way have to say for themselves. It's my majesty, you look like you've seen a ghost. Anyway, should you be heading to the throne room? You have an important audience, I understand as I understand it. If you're late, the chief minister will have your guts out for garners. Cool. It's kids. Um Yeah, throne room is yonder. <laughs> I love that I love his runs. Um unfortunately I can't change the outfit, but this is an outfit we will eventually get eventually. Oh, there you are, Your Majesty. I've been looking for you everywhere. I must remember me telling you how to import an audience schedule. It's all this time. Around your throne, prepare yourself. Oh, the queen's oh. throne. I trust you were well, father. Eleanor! Erwin! It, it really is you! And, and you're young again! 
What's going on? Uh, your Majesty, please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the Princess's Honor Guard, but as my own man. What? I mean, um, very well. State your business. Uh, well, uh, you see, the, um, the, the, the thing is, I, uh, I, I, uh, I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, Nevertheless, I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Oh. Your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter? Not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband. <laughs> I can't believe we even have an option with this. <laughs> it's my fucking dad, of course I will. Uh, I can hardly turn you down after that little performance, can I, laddie? And to tell you I the truth, swear off, it's too fucking I hard, always I had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, Father. It's up to you now, Erwin. Don't disappoint me. You hear? Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> 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 But, of course, things are not as they seem here. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Crivens! Where do you spring from, lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet. Ay, ay, ay. Follow the bunny girl out of the throne room. Like, be with Fuddled. What? King Elnor and King Erwin lost forevermore? It's never stopped himself speaking with hers. Father to be seems more than a little jumpy himself. He went flying out of the throne room, no longer like a man possessed. Okie dokie. Oh, there's the man. There you are, Lord Robert. I was hoping I might have the chance to speak for you about someone before the child was born. Before the child was born. Well now, since day my grandson's birth, is it? Oh, well, there's a thing. Your Majesty? Sorry, lad. You were saying there was something you wanted to discuss. Aye, it's the child's name. I've been having trouble thinking of anything suitable. So much trouble, it's been distracting from everything else, if I'm honest. I just wonder if you might... See where you're pricing your role as a king for a wee while, so I have some time to think it over. Thank you, thank you so much. Not to do, you'll not have much to do, I promise. There's just two items on the agenda for today. The first is something you're more used to. Seeing those who will seek a royal audience to the council, the chief minister will be on hand to help you with the most pressing issues. Second, to make ground as a castle and assist anyone who needs your aid. The idea of the king aiding his subjects directly was, of course, something you would yourself initiate during your reign. I'll be by the fountain downstairs. That's where I do my best thinking. Once you've taken care of the day's business, please come find me. I'm truly grateful for you agreeing to do this. Okay. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of a council to do. Indulge in the royal duties and until later. Actually, it's a couple of... Uh, I've uh, to assume this is uh, Rob's throne or room. 
Yes, it is. <laughs> it's an old diary of Rob's. Since they secreted the throne to young Erwin, the lad has poured his heart and soul into making Gundersoul the greatest kingdom it could possibly be. He's never raised his royalty, and I must admit, I share some of my subjects' doubts about whether or not he was truly suited to rule at first. Now I know I've made the right choice. He soon gained their trust and respect. Might as well. The entire nation is united behind him. But dear Eleanor has made a very fine choice of husband indeed. Which means I can get out of enjoy my retirement. Heh. <laughs> so much for enjoying your retirement for long. I'm gonna need that actually. Oh! Okay. I never noticed that before, but I can't really do anything with it. Forgive me, Magi. The maid who brings your dinner dropped the pot of pepper, and I cannot stop sneezing. So now that it drifts into the queen's room, I'm sure she's having a hard time enough as it is. Chew. Alright. Let's go ahead and be a king again for the first time in like. 16 years? Is, is that Snorri? Now let's commence with today's Inerri. In, as you know, your role is to hear out those who come before you and use your wisdom to give counsel as the representative of the crowned Undersoul. Your Majesty, let me first, uh, let me first express to you my gratitude for granting me this audience. I travel all the way from the kingdom of Sniffleheim to seek it. No matter which before you, today has been greatly exercising the ruler of my land. Very much desires to seek the council of the crown of Dendrosil, paragon of peace and prosperity. Go on. Guards this royal treasure that has been handed down from generation to generation of our line. It is known as a blue orb, and alas, has vanished, soon stolen. King Gustav has used any, every means at his disposal to try to identify the thief and recover the most precious heirloom, but to no avail. However, the list of likely culprits has been identified, for to be precise. Sadly, there's no insufficient evidence to conclude identity to, to identify the theft, and so we find ourselves in an impasse. So neither will down your list of suspects, but you've got no clear means which to do so. Alright, let's see what we think. First thing to do is to identify the motive. What reason might a person want to get their midst of this blue orb? A treasure like that would bring in a pretty penny, I'll warrant. Aye. That'll be why the thief did it. Now. Next we consider the matter of means. You cannot just walk in off the street and help yourself to the pride of the royal treasure house. So what kind of person could it have been? Ah, yeah, that'll be it. The thief must have disguised himself as a guard or such like and strolled right on in without anyone looking at him twice, which leads me to conclude that our culprit is an experienced professional thief. Well, no shit. Go back and line up your suspects. Tell them that the orb they stole was a fake and whoever took it must have been an amateur and a fool. This party will see the funny side, but one person certainly will crack a smile. Farron, whose skills he called into the question. Marvelous display of deductive reasoning, Your Majesty. With your blessing, I shall return to Snevelheim and inform King Gustav of your counsel. This is your final judgment, matter, I take it? The Kingdom of Snevelheim owes you a great debt, Your Majesty. I shall journey back there immediately and share what your shrewd insights with the king. Well, wow, that was relatively easy. I must commend on your wise counsel, Lord Robert. Your advice will doubtlessly lead to the unmasking of the rogue who stole the treasure. Now shall we move on to the next matter? Very good, your majesty. Without further delay, let me, let me, let me present you with the next problem requiring your attention. The Sultan of Globulus states that the mighty kingdom of Dundersil and all of his people, and sends this, a missive penned by his most exalted hand. <clears throat> majesty, I trust this message finds you well, where of continued triumphs and glories your kingdom reaches on a daily basis, in truth, I write seeking your counsel for this very reason, as you know, the Sultanate has suffered a prolonged heat wave, the land is parched, and we fear for this year's harvest. As ruler of a realm of plenty, I beseech you, share us, share with us a series of your prosperity that we might avert disaster. I wait on your reply by return of rider, your humble servant, the Sultan of Galopolis. Message there, do not wish to pressure you, your majesty, but his excellency, but his excellency, the Sultan was most desirous of a swift response. Oh, sounds like they got themselves in a pretty pickle over there, eh? Well, I better see what I can do to help him, hadn't I? 
Job prevention device, eh? Hmm. Can't say it's a problem we've ever faced over this way, if I'm honest. Let's start with the basics, shall we? From to my reply, I'll need to sign the tunnel letter first, unfailingly gracious. You're probably the best way to go, eh? Now the tricky part. I'm doing a trout. Let's weigh up the options. Offer some conventional wisdom thing or box. Right, that's it. I got it. Take this down before I forget it. My dear soul, I understand your country's at risk of a terrible drought. We'll fear for not help is at hand. We'll only be too happy to open our storehouses, apply you with our surplus grain to make up for any shortfall you may suffer. Naturally, we expect no compensation. We are our brothers and sisters. When we were ever in the same position, we expect no less in return. We could not come to uh, one another's aid in time of strife, and truly we are lost. That's one. Get all written up in your best fancy handwriting on one of those nice scrolls. A marvelous missive, your majesty. Now don't mind me saying, if you don't mind saying, now just confirm you're happy to write down what you said and send off to the Sultan? Excellent. We'll send it back to Galopolis with the rider right away. Shall we have them send in the next visitor? Alright, here we go again. What in the hell? As I'm sure you're aware, these are pugilistic tournaments held regularly in the town of Octagonia where fighters from all four, four corners of the world compete to prove their worth. Naturally, there is no shortage of young hopefuls keen to represent Dundersil in the grand event of this kind. And then I wish to present you with our kingdom's three final candidates. Who better than a fighting man like yourself, Lord Robert, to assess their potential? If it pleases your majesty, could you step forward and pick the one you think might be a champion in the making? Hmm, this is a tough one. Uh... Pig is brimming with brute strength, he can shred steel with his bare hands. Um... Then we got the martial artists. Rare is a fighting talent round. Uh, I'm not exactly brimming with confidence, Ratchet, but if you pick me across my fingers really hard and hope for the best, so come on, you say, I don't blame you. Who picks a 97 pound weekly to represent the king? Guess my luck ran out. This is hilarious. An interesting choice indeed. This one's a real wild one without a shred of decency or compassion for a spell fighter. Animal who will stop nothing cheap. I can't bear some of the things people say about me. You know, I'm not that bad, honestly. You're gonna choose me or what? It does this matter? Does this clearly matter? You know what? Fuck it. I'm picking the bear for the for the for the memes. Your Majesty, just wait till I tell the cubs. But are you certain you wish to represent an animal without shred of fuck it? Why not? <laughs> Surely no one will be able to stand up to our boys' unbridled savagery. It's a talking bear. It should be funny. I report this concludes all your war duties for the day. Those here in the throne room, at least. But as I believe King Erwin mentioned, there may be troubled souls elsewhere in this castle who require your assistance. May I suggest you take a little stroll around the grounds? Oh, before you depart, let me just say it was an absolute pleasure to witness you work today. Truly, it's been far too long. Safe to say your kingly judgment is as sharp as it ever was. I don't know about the bear. I picked the bear for the absolute walls. Gonna assume she's literally. Eleanor's just chilling here. Majesty, the Queen's rest and rest right now, and plenty of it. I know you want to see her, but please give her some space. Damn it! I guess I'll just. See what the homies out here wants. Do you need anything? Good day to you, Your Majesty. If you're looking for King Erwin, he's in his usual spot by the fountain down below. Looks like he's got a lot of him in his mind. Do you need anything? There is for as a wise ruler, one who knew a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> I had a double take to see if I knew I said, wrote that right. So I wonder if I'm bold enough to make a small request of you. Don't mind me, I would very much like to ask you some questions or to see your formidable and like to work. Uh, sure, why not? Let me set you some posers. All I require you, in your infinite wisdom, supply me with a simple true or false. Here we go. You are the youngest of the three brothers, probably. I'll give you a sterner challenge for the second question here comes. Um, no, it's the blue orb. I'll tell you one more of a challenge. Let's increase the difficulty a little. The Dracilian Sovereign when you use a current currency is worth. I'm afraid that was incorrect. Okay, let me try this again. Correct, I see you're a, you're a 
champion at the bit of... <laughs> I can't say this right. Correct, I can see that you're a champion at the bit in anticipation of more testing questions. Well, let's see how you enjoy this one. Um, big time. You surely where he's not yet blessed with a child? Oh, yep. shit. Okay, false. True. False. Final question. In addition to the four great kingdoms to make up Urgia, there was once a fifth. Well, obviously. Oh, you did it, your majesty! You answered every single question correctly, but then I expected nothing less. Truly, I've witnessed an epic feat of intellectual prowess. I shall never forget what I observed here today. The sight of a matchless mind spreading its wings and taking flight is something I shall take to the grave. Here, take it easy, sir. This has been both a humbling and inspiring experience, your majesty. I'm gonna hit the books and memories yet uh, memorize yet more obscure trivia that I might one day reach your headly heights. Um Do you need anything? Do you need anything? What's up? Fuck. You dare deny a king go in his own room? In his own a room in his own castle? Off with the head. Damn it. I can't do shit I can't have shit in my own castle, huh? Give her bottom view with such a trifling matter, your majesty, but I have a weak problem that I very much like to ask your advice about. Someone of the castle has caught my eye and I cannot manage to muster the courage to tell him how I feel. Sounds out my way, but what if they got flowers delivered by another than yourself? I reckon they'd be rude. What do you say? You'll do it? Really? Well, I didn't quite know what to say. You're a star. Oh, before I get... Here you go. Uh, how can I begin to describe my true love? My peach, the end of my eye, and captor of my heart. Well, they're in the castle. They're wearing green. They got red hair. Good luck. They're wearing green. They got red hair. Good luck. You're wearing the opposite. You're a bit older. Gonna check around first. Could be multiple people wearing red and green, right? Right? Could be another maid. Oh yeah, you have you have a uh, red hair. Are you really giving me these, Your Majesty? I I'm very flattered, but well, I've never gone for an older man. And uh, hold on a second, Lassie. These are for me. I'm delivering them on behalf of a certain young admirer of yours. Not so. Well, I must say they're very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. Aye, this is a sign, all right. Where do I find this young man? I, I hope I did it right. Thanks, thanks so much. The light of my love has dawned in my life, and it's all thanks to you. I think you take the time to help a lowly soldier like yours truly. I just can't express how careful I am, but maybe this can. You're a real man of the people, Your Majesty. I'll never forget what you've done for me as long as I live. Um, I think that should be it. I've just. I've just as I can manage to come up with the perfect name for the new baby lass. That you, I wouldn't have had the time to properly mull over. No idea how much of a help you've been. So we both finish our business for the day. Why don't we head back to the throne room and wait for the good news? Your Majesty, Lord Ooh. Robert, the new arrival is here. That was not my. That was not my <gasps> stomach sound. Already. Ah. <laughs> Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a boy. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. Oh my god. Spoilers. How did I know that the the baby will be a boy? A boy. I think I'd be a prince. Look, Erwin. Oh, he's a fine wee chappy. And what a set of lungs! We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place down. 
Hi. We were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds clever and brave and... Yes. <laughs> but I've rather set my heart on something else, you know? What do you think of this for a name? Oh, uh, well, it, it, it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be my first choice. <laughs> but if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... Oh, you're a dick. Oh, <laughs> oh father. Uh, I found that really humorous. <clears throat> Sorry about that, love. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Do, do you expect me to read this? Hello, wee one. I'm your grandpa. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Having fun? Ah, how are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real. <laughs> ah, damn. Oh, now we're in unknown. Okay. You see this, the Book of Erdwin. I don't give a fuck. Why is it so quiet? The little sluts out here. Oh, I thought I was going to go in here. <laughs> okay, she literally disappeared. Where'd everyone go? They cannot have left without telling me, can they? I think they can do whatever they want, Rob. <sighs> oh, shit. What's all this then? <laughs> <gasps> it's a me. Happy birthday, Grandpa. 